Thanks, Mike. When it comes to promoting hockey in our city, not too many people do it better than Kristen Hallett. Kristen works for Flames TV, and she's also an alum of this tournament, the Max Tournament, Kristen, and it's uh, got a huge legacy in the city of Calgary. Oh, it totally does. 37 years. Tara, that was really sweet. And yes, I played in this tournament, not only an alum of the Max Midget Tournament, um, I'd like to call myself a trailblazer, or at least a certain kind of founder, because it was the first year that they allowed females into the tournament, 2003, as I am nearing my 30th birthday, dating myself. I look back on it quite fondly. It was a really big deal when they added girls in. Do you remember that time? Well, it was before my time with the Max. I joined about eight, nine years ago, but it was a big deal. Oh, yeah. Now everybody knows it was eight, nine years ago. Now, this is Mike O'Neill. He's the chairman of the Max tournament, and it's a really big undertaking. All the communities you said are involved. Mm -hmm. And what I didn't realize is it's a not-for-profit tournament. So that's something important for you to uh, right. let everybody know. Yes, it is not-for-profit. This is Calgary's tournament. It was born and bred to bring the best uh, midget players in the world to Calgary. Mm -hmm. and see how Calgary, Calgary could do. So that's what we're doing. It represents all the communities. Every community in the city of Calgary is represented here, from grassroots hockey, when kids start, both boys and girls, all the way up through. They have an opportunity to potentially plan the max. If they don't, they might have actually volunteered with their parents, with their uh, brothers and sisters, and this is their tournament. And it's a chance to see the stars of tomorrow. I know players like Zach Parise and Sidney Crosby have played on this ice right behind me because uh, I was right around their age cheering for them. Very exciting. But that's true. You get to see the stars of tomorrow and come for a low price. Yeah, oh, yes, you do. Yeah, we keep the price very competitive. We keep it down. As, again, we said not for profit. We have over 300 alumni that have gone on to play in the NHL which is a pretty good testament to uh, a tournament that was Calgary born and bred, 37 years. So you can come and come with the family. That's not always uh, an easy thing to do at all different sporting events. You can come and, and let us know about the experience if you come to this tournament. Oh, it's a great experience. It goes for the whole week. Uh, fam it's a family event. It starts from Boxing Day. Goes right through to January 1st, so families can go out, see some extremely good hockey. Covers the city. We're in uh, three different rinks. We're here. We're at over at Father David Bauer. We're over in uh, Flames Community. Yeah, and it really helps make you feel a part of the community. I'm proud of your city. It's such an elite tournament. New Year's Day is the big day because those are the two final games. If you can just plug those, let everybody know. Yes. Well, the females' final is at noon in the Saddle Dome. And uh, cross your fingers as to who's going to be in it. No <laughs> predictions right now. And the male final is at 4 o'clock. And both of them are actually on air as well. And are they, they're both in the Saddle Dome? They're both in the Saddle Dome. Yeah, it's on Shaw. That's yep. so cool. I, I know that's so cool for the kids, and it doesn't it doesn't get old. I know the little guys like it in between intermissions at the Flames games, but I I remember being an 18 year old, my first chance playing the Saddle Dome, and I pretended it wasn't a big deal, but it's it's a pretty big deal, hey? Oh yeah, it is. It really is. As a matter of fact, uh, I understand that uh, some teams that were in last night, 10 teams actually ended up uh, going to the game last night because they were in from out of town and they had an opportunity to go because they weren't playing. All right, well, they got to watch the big win over the uh, Stanley Cup champions last night. Back to you, Tara, in the studio. Thank you, Kristen Hallett. And for anybody who hasn't checked it out, uh, Midget AAA Hockey is really fast and really good. So go watch and watch.